Hi YouTubers and uh, welcome back to another video. Thank you very much for the likes and subscribes we've had so far. Uh, it's really given me some confidence to keep going with these videos. Um, so today, exciting day, I've had a new delivery and um, it's if you've seen the title of the video you realise it's the ATN Excite 2 um, and uh, this is just a quick unboxing. Now a lot of people like to see unboxing videos um, if you look somewhere around here, um, I will edit in me opening up a box with a razor blade for those that like to see that, but needless to say, it came extremely well packaged um, and not a problem at all with it. So with that out of the way, um, let's go straight on to the main feature, which is of this, which is the ATN Excite 2 HD, bit of a mouthful. Now I've gone for the uh, three to 14 zoom um, variant. You can get it for in the uh, 5 to 20 as well, but it's, uh, it's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit heavier, and obviously costs a bit more. And price-wise, well, since Brexit, this is now £740. So uh, quite an expense, and um, why so much for effectively a scope? What is this? What does it do? Well, to put it bluntly, this is a HD camera. It's a HD camera scope. Um, so you've probably seen many YouTube channels with people with these attachments that are trying to uh, put on digital cameras so that they can record their scope footage. And uh, I've tried them and they're really, really difficult. But this is a HD camera. Uh, it has in it a micro SD card where it will record everything that you're doing so then you can then download it um, onto your computer and use it to create videos. Um, it's got digital zoom, so it's from 3 to 14 in this variant here. Um, effectively, it is a computer. So how is it different from normal scopes? With a normal scope, you have a couple of pieces of glass, or many, many pieces of high quality glass, and your zoom ability, and uh, you look, and that's what you see through there. What you're actually looking at is when you're looking through this end here, is you're looking at a HD camcorder, a HD camcorder LCD screen. And superimposed over that is all of the features such as your zoom uh, on there, your recording time, and all the usual things that you would see on a HD cam. So like the one that I'm using at the moment, I can see the time, I can see the exposure, and I can see all of that, there's nice pretty features on there. But built into this is actually air gun or rifle specific information, such as your compass direction, um, your zoom ranges, uh, your elevation and your cant on how your actual scope is set out because this has got a whole load of gyros in it as well. And it doesn't stop there. It even has in it um, bullet characteristics, uh, bullet profiling. So you can set up to six profiles in this and uh, you can say that my muzzle velocity is X amount of feet per second, my bullet weight is so many grains, um, it has a built-in barometer, I believe, and of course it's got GPS built into it as well. Then it, uh, it can then work out the bullet calculations and give you automatic hold over and hold under and windage as well. So if I zero this at 25 meters and I put my bullet characteristics in, and then I move out to 50 meters. Um, normally, with a normal scope, I would have to hold over two null dots under my magnification. This will automatically work out for me and actually put the crosshairs still center of the target that I'm trying to hit, but actually it's already calculated and moved the image up and down to make sure that the holdover and windage is done. Now, you can put in the windage yourself, so you can say it's about five mile an hour left to right, um, and so that it knows that. Um, and from a range point of view, it has a trigonometry based range um, ranging mechanism. So you can put into here that, for example, I like to hunt pigeons, and I know a pigeon is roughly six inches from the head to the base of its feet. So I'd say that that, at, that is the size of a pigeon. And then you, inside the, inside the actual camera itself, is you then put a top mark and a bottom mark of the pigeon when you're looking through the scope. It then can work out the trigonometry to work out then how far away that is. So that's the type of length range finders in here. Um, also in here is Wi-Fi. So this is actually Wi-Fi enabled. 
so you can connect up your Android phones or your Google phones, uh, your iOS phones into here or any other streaming service into here and you can actually see the live image of the viewfinder through your mobile phone. And that's just a few of the features of this. There's much, much more. Um, so this is obviously going to extend out into a couple of videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the box up and see what we've got in here. Okay, so I've obviously opened this up already, um, but we'll take a look. So first thing we've got in here is a nice, pretty um, ATN magazine um, with lots of uh, pretty pictures and it smells beautiful, <laughs> brand new. So. That is a very good example of what you will actually see, obviously not in England, <laughs> you'd be lucky to see something like that, And uh, but you're looking at HD, so they claim HD, and you can see all of the different information that would be actually put onto the screen as you're looking at it. Um, so this is all of their products and their marketing magazine, so we'll take a look at that sometime later. Uh, this is my receipt. Now, this channel is totally unsponsored. Um, I brought this with my own money. Um, but I'm going to do this because these guys are brilliant. Bradford Stalker Limited up in Chesterley, uh, up in Durham somewhere. Um, I called them up because they had it in stock. Uh, they had it for £740 on their website. Um, I wanted to talk to them. The guy was adamant that he wanted to spend 20 minutes with me to make sure he knew I knew exactly what I was getting myself into with this scope. We had a great chat and then he even honoured the online price over the telephone with me. So I'm a great believer of customer, customer uh, service and yeah, for, there you go. Um, if you want something, go to these guys. Yeah, I thought they were brilliant and they don't know why I'm doing this. What else have we got in here? A nice little micro cloth for cleaning the lens. Um, we have support and again another reason why I went to those guys is because they're UK support. This is an American product and a lot a lot of people will be selling you the American version of it. Anything goes wrong it has to go off to America. Um, because of the guys that I've got mine from they deal directly with ATN Europe then I can deal with them in Europe so any issues and problems warranties sorted. Okay. Firmware updates. Um, because this is a computer, um, it has firmware on it and you can change it as many times as needed. So ATN will decide that they're going to add some new features. So um, it all depends on when this unit was made and when it was shipped out to me. But they straight away, great big warning saying, go and get the latest firmware. Put the firmware onto the SD card. It will automatically update itself just like any, it's just like a BIOS in a computer. Um, now the guys that I got it from, they've already opened the box up, they've checked the product to make sure it's all working and they've even updated the firmware for me. So that's something that I need to keep an eye on on the forums to make sure. And there's some freebies if you write nice reviews, you can get some freebies off ATM. Um, what's also nice um, looking through this is there's a owner's forum, ATN owner's forum. Um, always a good place to go for information. Um, so. You know, I'll certainly be joining there and a Facebook as well. So I love forums, uh, great source of information. And another bit of marketing. Now I nearly went for one of these. Uh, it's the ATN Power Pack. Now the actual unit itself uh, takes four AA batteries and they do not last very long. On the back of here is a battery indicator chart and you can pause that and have a look if you want. But um, they say that four, alkali four lithium batteries should last seven hours. I've looked at the forums and people are lucky if they get a couple of hours out of it. Um, but this does have a USB connection and the USB connection will be for transferring data files off your videos off onto your computer or to externally power the unit. Now, what they give you here is a 16,000 milliamp battery and a nice little carry case to put it over your stock. Looks nice, looks pretty. But for a hundred pounds, no, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, it's a 16 milliamp battery. I can pick one of them up off Amazon uh, for 20, 30 quid. Um, plus also, this is never going to work for my bullpup with the rear cocking mechanism. So what I've got is I've purchased two batteries. Now these batteries are tiny, absolutely tiny. Um, there's my hand here, and I've got big hands and. You can see the size of these, these are titchy. Now this is a 6,800 battery, um, USB, um, charge, uh, stick it in the wall. Now I plan to Velcro strap this. I plan to use Velcro straps. So, and 
just Velcro strap this onto the front of my rifle. And I've got two of them, so I can swap and change them out. Um, and so two of these is gonna give me um, just over 14,000, just under 14,000 milliamp uh, hours worth of power, um, which is very, very close to that at a fraction of the price. These from Amazon, I think were 11 pound, so. And then you get a nice little startup guide, uh, getting started guide. Now, like I said before, because this is a computer based and it has firmware in it, the main instructions are online. So you always check online on the ATM owners forum to go and get all of your instructions, the latest instructions. But this is a quick getting started guide on how to power the unit up, how to connect it, how to insert USD card, and uh, how to change the zoom and switch between night and day mode. So it's good just to get, get you started. Which then brings us on to the main product itself. So it comes in this a nice little bag, um, looks quite waterproof, um, and I think by the looks of it, it would actually make quite a nice game bag. Let's open it up, we've got a nice handle. Yep, so we've got a nice strap for it as well. Um, I think this would actually make quite a nice little game bag. Yeah, probably maybe get a one, one rabbit or two rabbits in there. But um, quite, quite nice um, with the ATN logo on the front here. Uh, my, my scope will spend most of its time on the rifle. So what's in here? Now, I've already opened this up, so I'm gone through it for, the, for this video. But what we've got here, first thing, is a sunscreen. So it's about three inches long. Um, it's made of metal and it's threaded in both ends and it's quite a rough matte metal. Very, very nice quality finish on that, um, threaded both ends. And we also have, and this is new in the latest sets, um, it's basically a light blocker with a hole in the center, about yeah, an almost 5p size. Um, and this is for bright light conditions because it can over flood the LCD. Um, and maybe also if you're using night sight capabilities. Oh, did I mention this has got night sight as well? Um, and that's threaded as well to do. And we can either put that directly onto the front of the scope or we can put it onto the shade. And it also helps with focusing as well because it um, increases the focus range as well in bright light conditions. So that's a nice being. Like I said, this is new in the latest versions and this video is recorded um, in October 2016. So they've started adding this into it now. What else comes and this is the free IR lamp they give you so um, I forgot to mention that right at the beginning this is also nighttime capabilities as well um, it's not using um, heat or um, or image intensifying it is using infrared so basically inside the camera they, um, they have an infrared filter and it flips back when you go into night mode and then you can illuminate with this uh, it takes two uh, batteries, and the batteries in here are um, CR123A batteries. Um, I picked a couple of Duracells up from Tesco's uh, for about £7. Um, it used to come with batteries, but they've stopped doing that now. Probably something to do with galaxies exploding on flights. Um, uh, two little power buttons here to switch it on. Um, and a little green light pops on, and you can change the... And it is zoomable. Um, and you can zoom it in and out as well here and we just about make that out zoom in and out and with um, intensity lights on here um, one thing with this uh, is make sure to switch it on switch it off hit the plus and the minus buttons at the same time which switches it on switches off a lot of people get caught out with that Piccadilly rail on it with a nice little um, spring uh, clamp on it uh, to attach to the side of the scope we'll put that down on the side there which then brings us on to the main unit itself We'll just take the bag and put the bag out to one side. And here she is. And this is your Excite, uh, your ATN Excite uh, HD. Um, quite a chunky unit. I've actually weighed this. Um, let's just put the IR unit back on as well, onto the side. So let's uh, get that on and we'll just do a quick tighten up on it. Trying to do this one handed here. So that's the IR unit put onto the side of it as well. Um, I have weighed this um, and without batteries, this comes in at uh, 1.2 kilograms. So that's without batteries and without the front um, sunshade on there. 
1.2 kilograms. So, uh, yeah, quite weighty, quite chunky. And as a quick dimension, let's have a look. Uh, we'll just stick a ruler down on there. We, uh, it is near as damn it, 12 inches across. Um, we'll see, maybe see that there. Near as that's a standard ruler, a 30 centimeter ruler, 12 inch ruler, and it's 12 inches across. So, uh, in length. So, quite chunky. Um, nice to see, real solid, good construction metal as well on here. Um, we do have a rubber cap here, and it's, um, that's quite nice quality. Um, and rubber buttons. This is the actual main control mechanism here. So, you can either control it through here, or you can control it via the app you can get off iOS or Google Play, um, and you can control it through your phone. But the majority of the times you'll be doing them up here through these rubber tactile buttons. You can see some labels up here, that is Wi-Fi GPS. So let's go through the scope from, from one end to the other. Nice rubber cap that's um, attached. Now this does come off, you can take it off if you want to, but it's nice to have there and it just sits underneath. Um, and it's always good to have that there. The optics, um, can we just see in the optics there? The optics look nice and clear. And as I would hope from a brand new scope that's been taken out, tested and checked before it's come to me. Um, and here is the focus knit wheel. And that is stiff, that is extremely stiff. Um, that might make it into the, the pros and cons section of this. Um, that is a bit stiff, so um, yeah. It used to be on the older X sites, it used to be a turn barrel. Um, and users were complaining that it was difficult, so they've changed it into this turret. Uh, but that out of the box is pretty damn stiff. So um, I'm hoping that's going to loosen up a little bit. Okay, um, on this side we have our looks. This it's the battery compartment. So four AA batteries. Now I don't think I'm ever going to use this, but um, let's just take it off. Um, this is plastic. Um, well, metally plastic, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but it's got nice threads on it and you can see everything's all got seals on their O-rings uh, to keep the water out. And in there is where we would be putting our four AA batteries into there. Um, they recommend that you use at least 2400 milliamp hour lithium batteries. Uh, I've got some 27s, um, I will give them a go and see how long it lasts, but I'm not holding out much hope. I know cameras like this, and you know, they, they tend to eat batteries, hence the reason for the external battery pack. But we'll just screw that back in there. So, it's quite nice. Um, and then we have here, this is the port itself, so if we can just make that out. Um, it says HDMI, etc. on there, so yes. We can link this up to an external HDMI source if we want. But in here we have, and let's zoom right in there for you. In there we have a micro SD card slot and it will take up to 4 to 64 gigabyte. Now you need to have at least a class 10 in there. So it's capable of uh, writing up to 10 uh, megabytes per second. I've got a 64 uh, gig one in there, a fairly cheapish one that cost me about 20 quid. Um, and that's in the middle slot. We have then a micro HDMI uh, connection um, to allow you to actually see on a HDMI a screen exactly what is in here. If you use the Google app or the, or the iOS app, the Android or the iOS app, as iOS app, you actually get a cut down version of the information that the actual thing that you see in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up HDMI in later videos to show you exactly how the menu system works, etc. Um, so you can see all of that. And then we have a mini USB, which I'm going to use to connect the power up. Um, now there's one problem I can see with this straight away, is that with this cap removed, so I can put in my USB power, all my other ports are going to be left bare to the elements, because the cap cannot go on without it. So that's going to be a bit interesting. I'm going to see how I'm going to do that. I might have to do some modding or some dremel in here and see how we can get around that. But uh, that's that. Okay, at the back we have a nice soft uh, cushion, eye cushion on here, and we have the back focus uh, for helping with focusing. So apparently you need to use a combination of the two of these, especially in night mode. Um, but we'll see how we get on with that. That's again for later reviews, um, videos on that. And then at the bottom is a nice spring-loaded Picatinny rail, and that looks like the standard 13mm Picatinny rail. 
on there um, with some nice thumb screws on here to enable you to connect this up. So I think that's about all of it here. Like I said, it feels chunky, it feels good. Um, I'm quite liking the look of it so far, um, and I would hope so as well for the price that I've paid for it. Um, so I'm going to be doing quite a few videos on this um, going through because there's a lot to go through in here. Uh, there's loads of features. There's the uh, there's the two shots um, zero in where you take your first shot, you then move the cursor inside here, take your second shot, and it's supposed to automatically. Um, zero you out. There's the range finding capabilities in here. There's the automatic uh, ballistic compensation that's in here. Of course, there's the HD recording. You know, I want to see what the quality's like on this scope, especially when you then start to zoom. What's the focusing like on it? Um, how does it perform? Um, and then, so there's a lot of things that I want to do on here. Battery. And then, of course, for me. I've never done any night sight stuff, so I'm really interested to see how the night sight in infrared works. And I'll see what's moving around in my garden at night because I have no idea. I know there's a few hedgehogs, so we might be able to get some wildlife stuff out of this as well. So, um, I could try and cram everything into this video, but uh, it just would be too much of a video to do everything on here. So I'm going to split this down into four or five different videos on the ATN uh, X Sight 2. So, um, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe um, and thank you for all the great comments and feedback and uh, we'll see you next time and we'll probably do some more on this uh, product. Thank you. Bye.